Today, let's see how functions or methods work in C programming language. We have already seen sign, cause, tan, power of built in methods, which are present inside the header file math.h. It's library file. If you get inside this math.h library file, you can see something like prototype of that method and function definition, etc. So these are built in methods. If we want to write user defined functions, we need to write its corresponding prototype and definition before calling that function. Okay, so an example of prototype, you can see it on the computer screen. So void add, it's a prototype. While calling that function, you can just call by its name. If you want to write the definition, it should match the prototype of that function. So void add. So inside curly braces, you need to write some set of instructions. So what is a function? A function is a group of statements that together perform a task. So that's called a function. So why write a function? It provides modularity to your program structure. You can write reusable code. This is very important. You can write the function definition once and call it any number of times in your program. And it's easy to read, understand, edit and debug your code. So since it's void add, that means it re doesn't return anything. You need not write any return statements here. So instead of vague prototypes here, let me give you a live example. So int add, it should take two integer type arguments. So you can even specify the some uh, variable names, which is completely optional. So this is function prototype. So this is the first step writing function prototype. Okay. Inside main, I'll take a couple of variables. Let me even assign some values to it a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20. Let me even take another variable c because our function add returns an integer type data. So let me store that returned type return data inside variable C. So we need to pass two integer type values to function add. So we are passing a comma b, which is 10 comma 20. So let me write the function definition, which should match the function prototype. So int add it takes two arguments of type integer. So int i comma int j, it need not match any of the variable names here. So here, since this add function returns integer type data, I'll return addition of i plus j. So what is i and j here? So i and j are 10 and 20. So we have passed 10 and 20 to this add function. So it returns 10 plus 20, which is 30, which is stored inside variable C here. So I'll display a nice message onto the console window to the user. Addition of percentage D and percentage D is percentage D. So the values A and B, A comma B comma C, C should have the result of A plus B, which is, which is 30. So this is function call. So this is function definition. Okay, make sure to have these three things, function prototype, function call, and function definition, which should match the function prototype. Okay, that's it. Let me compile this and execute it, run the program. So addition of 10 and 20 is 30. As I told you, we need not specify any variable names here. Just a prototype that is return type and argument type and function name. That's it. It should give the same results and it's working. So int, it should uh, return type. It should return integer data type. It can't return two things at a time. Return type only returns one value and that must be equivalent to the type defined in the prototype of that function. In this case, it should return integer type data. Okay. 
so there are four types of prototypes and function definition here so just know that so we have return type and arguments here return type is int so it returns integer type data okay this is one type it returns integer type data and it takes arguments so another type is it doesn't return anything th so void it doesn't take any arguments so we don't have any types inside this parenthesis so this is another type so another type is it doesn't return anything but it takes arguments any arguments of in this case it takes an argument of type float so another thing is the return type is also present but it doesn't have any uh, argument so these are the four types you can find in functions okay we will explain everything in detail in our upcoming videos so for now this is the brief discussion about methods or functions in c programming also remember any valid c program should should have main method okay if you have more than one main function then it will throw errors it should have only one main function in a program and this function name should not have any keywords okay so that's it for now in coming video tutorials i'll show you uh, working examples for these functions so until then please follow the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you